Number one, stop hitting the big stick. It's the hardest club to hit in the bag. It's got the longest shaft, generates the most power. And for that reason, it's the hardest to control. Largely, most people are rubbish with the driver, me included, to a degree. So stop hitting it. I've decided this year to actively not use it. And I've been hitting so many more fairways. It sounds obvious, but please stop using the driver. It puts you in trouble. 65% of all mistakes start on the tee. And that's mostly because of this. So stop using it. Clean the grooves on your flipping irons. Sounds stupid. It sounds like a vanity thing. It's not. If your grooves are not clean, they're not generating the right spin. They're not impacting the right contact on the ball. So just get one of these and start cleaning your clubs. Next tip. Start hitting fairways, which sounds a bloody stupid thing to say because of course we want to hit more fairways. I just said 65% of our errors start off the tee. Of course we want to hit more fairways. But what I mean by that is pick a club that you know has got a good chance of getting on the fairway. Obviously, I don't mean hit a lob wedge or a putter that's going to go 10 yards. But out of all your clubs, pick something that's going to get you a reasonable way up the fairway and on the fairway. There's no point hitting it into a bunker or into the rough miles up there and then or losing the ball that doesn't do you any favors so it's much better to hit 350 yard shots on a long par four and be on the green or be there or thereabouts and if you can get in from 50 yards chip and putt then so be it so hit the fairway it's going to help you so much which leads me on to the next one that club for me which is this tip get a hybrid Hybrids are so easy to hit. This is a one length one, so it's even easier to hit because the shaft is that much shorter and the loft is stronger. But for me, this club goes 220 yards and I'll miss maybe one in 10, maybe one in 20 if I'm really on with it. I've just hit it on this tee shot here and it's gone. It's a 340 yard par four. I've got 90 yards left in. So you can do the maths there. And it's gone straight down the middle. It's gone short the trap, winning. I'm in no trouble. Worst I'm going to make here is a bogey. God, hopefully I'll make a birdie or a par. So start using hybrids because they are just the best thing. So easy to hit and out the rough as well. So hopefully you like those tips. Hopefully they're going to help you. If you start using those, I guarantee you it's not going to do any harm. It will start lowering your scores. I'm even going to give you one more bonus tip because I'm feeling generous and it's such a beautiful evening. Club up. Go one more. I've got 90, you say 95 yards, so probably a little bit less. 93 yards through the middle, and that pin is a bit further on. So I'm thinking about 100 yards. It's 109 to the back. I don't want to be short. That club 109 to the back would normally be a sand wedge for me. So I'm going to go one more so that I can hit it three quarters, have a bit more control, and at worst, it's going to finish on the front. It's going to get on the green, as long as I'm not left or right of it. So that's the last tip. Let's see if it works for me. And that will do. That is on the front, just a bit past the front, it's probably actually halfway to the flag. And now I've got a chance to birdie. So club up. If you liked it, subscribe for more content like that. I've got it out weekly. Thanks for watching.